So you already know. You already know. I don't have to tell you that it's about to be Tentacles and Van up next in winner's quarters. Battling it out to see who's going to win Smash It Up 98 this week at Game Nest Las Vegas. Last match, the winner was Lycan over Frog. Okay. Tentacles not in his patent pending co Fox cosplay right now. But he's just playing as his regular old self against Van, who I don't believe he's had a set win on yet. I know Van is a, he's a matchup that Tentacle struggles with, so he really has something to prove. He's made it far through this winner's bracket um, already into winner's quarters. So, this is, I don't think it's something that Fox struggles with, I think it's something more that Tentacle is just personally struggles with. Van, wow, that up tilt actually picked him up to the ledge. Oh, great up smash, catching him on the lane there, recognizing that he was being way too aggressive on his landing, throwing out a lot of aerials, not really respecting his moveset, so he's like, okay, I'm going to force you to respect me with this up smash real quick. But now Ven, trying to force him to respect these toes, actually gets back to the stage, into the downer, he's going to turn that into his own combo, actually punishing him for trying, oh my goodness, into the footstool, oh, the jab look, reset, that wasn't a lot of percent, but it sure did look pretty. Okay, caught him, air dodging up to the stage once again, being super aggressive on his landing. He actually, whoa, he actually challenged his landing with that double jump downer up there. That was very impressive. Technicals now in a very good spot in this game one. Ben looking to bring it back here. Great up B above the ledge. That beefy, beefy up B to catch technical slipping. Coming out of his shield, getting a little bit too comfortable after putting it, racking up all that damage. Now Technicals has to sort of temper his aggression here, stay in a position where he can secure his victory because he is only at 1%. There's not much that Ben can do aside from getting on stage. So as long as he stays center stage here. Oh, almost got hit by the strong hit. Ben's going to look to send him off. Just stay safe with the jab. Doesn't want to commit to anything. He is at a super high percent. And that should do it for game one Technicals. 1-0. Just again, I want to mention K9S Bruce is here. He is in the winner's bracket. I think he is going to be the next match or one of the next matches going on. So if you want to see him play, uh, he is a Las Vegas local now. So just go ahead and follow the stream and he'll be at all future events. Back into this match between Technicals and Van. Technicals up one game now up against Van Zelda. Van has not switched the corner yet because I think he knows that Technicals. Technical has uh, pretty good experience going up against Van's corn. Van's corn. You know, it's kind of back and forth with technicals. But um, he's his Ven has had solid results with his with his Zelda, which is why I'm saying uh, technicals has had trouble in the past with Ven Zelda. But I'm not seeing any of those troubles right now. He's doing a very good job of keeping himself in advantage here, and almost caught that air dodge while the wind box of the dark now actually pushing him away. He's going for broke right now. He wants the stock gone now. Another side B into up air. That's what took that last game. That last stock. Technicals is going to stay patient, doesn't want to get up bead once again in the corner, he's going to stay far away, he knows it's an option that Ben can go for, just going to rapid jab on a shield. Wow, very lucky that the back hit of that rapid jab actually connected Ben, having trouble getting his footing here, looking for the single jabs to set something, actually catches him, challenges him in the air, we actually notice that Technicals is being very aerial, throwing out a lot of jumps, jumps are a commitment, you are at disadvantage when you're in the air, so you Actually just elected to meet him up there, but he's still trying to chase down this fox. Technical is, is being incredibly mobile, weaving in and out of Ven's range, trying to bait out moves. So dash tech could have been something there. Tries to call out his shield drop, and actually taking a huge amount of damage for it. Ven not having any remorse. Tense situation here. Technical trying to bait out an option by showing his back and showing that jump, making Ben think he's going for a back air. In reality, kinda is. Lands that back right there. Up tilt. Doing a lot of pressure on Ben, kinda. That's what he was waiting for, but he was not ready for the timing of that Nehru's love. You're always ready for the Zelda to come up and air dodge up to the stage, but. Sometimes you always forget about that neighbor's love, which is a very tricky timing. And actually the up B 
chasing him all the way. He went past the ledge, but that up B chased him all the way up there and sealed that stock for Ven. Down air. This could be a great air dodge. A read. Edge guard. Technicals going a little bit too hard. Ben using his lead and his high percent to his advantage because he knows he's saying, I'm at a high percent. Uh, I also have the lead. So what that means is that Technicals is going to be approaching very, very uh, aggressively to try to end his stock. And he can use that to his advantage to bait him. Looks like Technicals has calmed down just a little bit. Staying in his shield. And F Smash coming up. He was waiting for that jump air dodge. He saw the jump. He let the F Smash rip. He didn't air dodge, however. Just ended up connecting. Ooh, tried to catch him in that down tilt. It's a down air. Technicals now has it in practically an even situation. One Fox combo is going to get him to pretty much the same percent that he's at 35. Playing the numbers game here. Wow, actually, wait. Just that full hop up to give him a little bit of time. Oh, no. This could be it. The down air. Yes. That's the second game for technicals. That's that's usually how it goes down uh, in a majority of technical sets. You'll see him have the lead, and then it'll be sort of a tense uh, end game situation where he'll kind of just put he'll he'll put all of his cards out on the table and he'll go for that YOLO forward air kill off the side because I think he mentioned this to me a little bit ago. He's like locals. When you start competing on a national stage, locals are kind of the place where you just try things out and be risky and you just practice for the next time you go out of state again. So, I mean, he did F tilt him, which does put him in the perfect spot to be fair spiked. So if he didn't go for it, it would have been a little suspect, but sometimes you gotta just be, it's just a question of awareness. So he's in that second game. Now on set point, he's Ben. Ben, no, no knock to Ben either. Very solid play. Brought it back and used his lead very effectively against Technicals. Technicals now having that Vortex. Technicals. Slight lead. Once again, he keeps getting Ven in this corner. But the only problem is he's having trouble dealing with Ven in the corner and actually confirming a hit in the corner. Nair connecting. Corner once again. Let's see how he can deal with it. Up smash. I'm just gonna back off. It's clipped by the jab. Comes right back in with the shield. Yet again at the corner. Ben electing to roll. Very smart move. Technicals forcing him back. Has the dark nook out. Is he gonna jump? Feeling it. Technicals was ready with just pop the nair just to keep him in check. Saying. I'm watching you, boy. Ben staying super patient here, waiting for his opportunity. Tech could die from a strong hit back air forward air. Ooh, clipped him from underneath and actually died off the top. Yeah, another situation. Tech. Getting very close to taking the stock, getting killed by Van, and now having having a Zelda at high percent, very high rage, max rage, exactly. Having to having the burden of getting rid of the stock and having to approach Zelda, which is very difficult. Well, it's proving to be very difficult for technical speed. Look at Ben, standing still, waiting for Tech to come in, throwing out that jab, which is plus on his shield, uh, depending on the spacing. Full space, it's plus. Technicals runs in with the shield. What's nice. he gonna do? Comes in with the. Oh, keeps getting clipped by this jab. It's starting to affect his mental state, I believe. It's gotta be frustrating. You have the lead. Actually, coming down with that drop shield up air. Or, or platform drop. Shield drop. Shield drop. Yeah. Now Ben catching him slipping with that grab. Ben looking to take it here. A lot of percent on technicals. Well, not a lot, but enough for Zelda to get something done. That back air, forward air. Sweet spot are right, extremely deadly. Technicals not wanting any part of it. Actually comes in with perfect timing on that jab, but not able to avoid the down tilt coming out. 
Resetting neutral, trying to break through with that side B. Ben remaining stoic, stationary, using that jab to his fullest. Putting out the Dark Knight. He's actually trying to reflect the Dark Knight. Jeez, I like that idea. Just jab after jab after jab on technicals. Not able to get through this wall that is Ven. And the down throw into up air. Gonna be technicals demise. And Ven moving on into winner's center. 